Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Let's go. Feel this. I can fit. Whoa! Gee! <laughs> it's actually just dropped my gimbal on the floor of the power that immediately went into that. That was just like a driving an electric car. So folks, now time to come up and get loaded by a caterpillar machine, which I will overlay over this, folks. Um, so uh, let's remind ourselves six passes, we reckon, to fill it all up. Approximately. Then we have uh, about 60 tons of payload. Fantastic. So now, like we normally do, folks, is we have literally put the machine in park. As you can hear, Oh, oh, that's the first one in! Here goes. Ah, that's, another, <laughs> that's another shock for me! Right, so, you know... We're Remember also that that was 10 tons. 10 no. tons, just chucking it in there. It's like putting your waste paper in the bin, isn't it? <laughs> it's like... So, all we can hear now is the air conditioning, and actually it's getting a little hot in here, folks, so I'm going to turn that down. But, you know, the... The cycle times are really important when it comes to things like this. So, you know, one of the things the rental group does really well when I was talking to some of your customers is fleet matching. Yep. Okay. You know, and when we talk about fleet matching, we're now talking about electric fleet matching, aren't we? Are you ready now? I'm ready. Holding on, folks. Off we go. We've got a huge payload in here. Just, I mean, you were a little less on the gas, because it, but. There's no real difference, no. is there? But remember, this is almost 100 tons now. 100 tons in here now. Yeah. And yeah, we're just tootling along quite nicely, aren't we? Now I feel, right. feel we're going uphill. Right, we're going to go uphill now with this on. So I'm going to film this, folks. So we're now going uphill. So got the phone out. There's the hill. Right, OK, is it going to be a problem getting up this hill? Doesn't look like it, does it? <laughs> Obviously, we've got traffic on the roads now, um, so we need to be a little bit more careful because we had the whole site to ourselves beforehand. But yeah, going up here to the tipping zone, as it say, and so we you know, we'll do a stop here, right? Oh, we're doing oh, we're doing a hill stop, <laughs> folks. <laughs> Are ready? Are you ready? Off we go. Again, wow, that's just a dead smooth and we're literally on the hill there that was the kind of steepest part of the hill really isn't it so yeah that's pretty cool and then obviously round to the tipping zone here folks so let's just quickly look at that right so there is all of the stuff but I tell you what we're, crazily we're not going to tip it you know why because we're going to talk about regen. This is really important. This is where I've got to hold the phone like this because we're now going downhill. So first of all, if we stop here, what are we going to see on the dials that I've got, uh, that I'm trying to film here now when we're going down? We're going to see... What's important to see here is uh, our energy consumption. Yep. So at the moment we're doing uh, 14 kilowatts. Okay. So uh, this ranges between minus 500 yep. to plus 500 after right. our consumption or yep. recuperation. Okay. So uh, down the hill here, this is a pretty short slope. Yep. Uh, maybe we will see speeds up to, or uh, charging powers, recuperation up to 400. Okay, let's have a look then. Okay, yeah. we're going downhill. I've got my phone up right. Oh, going up, going up. Right, so now remember the payload is 100 tons and now we're minus, minus, minus. Right, okay, so now it's right. We're getting all sorts of figures coming out here now as we go down. Wow, that's that hit 300 at one point there. Back again, 200s. 270s, yeah, fantastic, right. Yeah, so there you go, the regen that we did there, and now we're back on to, to utilizing the actual power itself, aren't we? Yeah. So going up to 500. 500 is, uh, is uh, the maximum. Is the maximum we're going to. see here. Yeah. And that's regening again when we break, yeah, 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 yeah. So there you go, that's the power and the power back of electric. Right, let's go dump this load in because I've got plenty more to see, folks. Oh, so we've also got a grader here, a Caterpillar grader, and that's all about showing people the importance of keeping your whole roads fully maintained, isn't it? Yeah, and that's a really a key point for uh, driving with tip trucks or wide body trucks. 
is keeping road maintenance at top level at all times. And I think it's really important folks because as we talk about being efficient we talk about if you've got potholes it's a bit like driving a car you'll damage the, your car but also it takes more energy to get it in and out of a pothole doesn't yep. it tires are really expensive all of these sort of things so the grader pays for itself in my opinion doesn't it absolutely and, that, and that's what we talk a lot with customers about yeah so keeping a tire rear at the minimum keeping the speeds as high as possible yep. and maintenance costs low yeah exactly and that then keeps your fleet more efficient as well doesn't it Absolutely. maintenance costs can be quite large when you've got you know something that's not looked after properly can't they yeah yeah Absolutely. right we're going into the tipping zone right now folks so i'll capture well, look we've got some rear view camera action here so we'll actually be able to see that right so here we go that is the Liu Gong 870 870 behind us with like a geosystem 3d machine control and basically yeah we're going now into the tip zone so so what are we what are we doing to tip what's the what, what where's the button a little machine to neutral yeah parking okay. brake on to neutral parking brake on just pull the lever i'm doing it myself folks pulling the lever Ooh. and there we go i am operating this machine right now Pulling the lever. Oh, 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 and there it is. Tipping a full load, folks. Remember, 100 tons, the total weight was when we were putting in five scoops from the Caterpillar machine. Now we are literally unloaded. Fantastic. And so as we move away, what's really going to be quite interesting is I'm going to go and film again the actual um regen as we go down because obviously when we've got full tonnage it was a lot more wasn't it so now we're going to go down with an empty load yep and see down the same slope and see what the regen is same sort of pace same slope and obviously yeah a big difference remember we got up to minus 30 300 sorry well, the last one but obviously not as much this time but still regening folks right so there we go this is it my first ever electric off highway truck in tandem with my new guru of electrification kim for the rental group kim wow that's brilliant it's time to stop this machine and then i'm going to get some footage of it actually being loaded by the excavator and so that we can match that in folks to what we've been doing today Fantastic, thanks very much. Cheers.